15 minute game. As usual, it's the answer to the question of why. Why am I making this move? If I've got a defensible rationale behind making that move, then I feel a lot better after the game. If I don't, then I shouldn't make the move. Let's capture. Conscious I captured that very quickly. And capture. I'm not actually going through the explanation of these things because through the history of what we've gone through with the answers um, you more or less understand what I'm attempting to try and do that's an interesting situation interesting because A little bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. And this is why they're probably yeah taking the time to take get that taken off the board for free. Then they're thinking if I take here, but they're not going to be any pieces up. So they jumped right into that surprise themselves. That wasn't what I was planning on, but they gave it to us anyway. They would potentially lose out. I, I think maybe they would have lost out, depending, no matter what they actually did, actually. But um, that's why I was saying, I think I've got a surprise for them. But I'm not, look, not going to go into it, because you know our plans and you know what we're trying to do. Capture here. Just queenside castle. And take the bishop here. He's not actually going for the bishop either. Let's attack this pawn, but the knight's protecting, but attacking the bishop at the same time. Bishop's gone back, we can attack the bishop with our own bishop. I'm gonna keep it simple. So I think it's nice now that way we, we're at a stage where we don't need to explain what we're doing because we have a long history of a nice journey that we've been through together then we can see basically where the mistakes were because we're not either following the process that we've set for ourselves so the less sort of thinking time around what we need to do <laughs> is more space for creativity and originality I think that works in, in any, any sport any type of competitive thing even anything that you do just as a hobby or a leisure thing where you're, you're basically either wanting to learn something and you want to end up being able to do it naturally yeah and put a bit of your own flavor into whatever it is that you're pursuing initially you're going to learn the basics because you need to understand the the rudiments of the, the thing that you're wanting to learn Let's capture here. But then as you progress and progress and you become maybe an expert at it or you become an advanced level person at whatever it is that you're doing, you start then to get a natural flair. And to those on looking, will they'll go, wow, you're really good. And you will know that you've put a lot of hard work into making it look easy. <laughs> So 
I think it's the enjoyment of the thing that you're doing as well. If you are developing and you want to develop, then that makes you happier if you are getting better at what you're doing. So you're going to take more risks and chances to really push that um, envelope out. I don't mind bringing these pawns back in. So let's go here. So I don't need to explain the potential weaknesses of the opponent. I don't need to explain what why why I'm doing a certain particular move at all. Let's um shall I tell you what? I don't mind doubling them pawns. Yeah, don't mind that at all. I don't mind. So we are a minor piece up as I'm looking at the board now. I just looked at the um, tally and a plus four. <laughs> and I was like, so, sort of shocked. I was like, oh my God, I thought we were pretty even. And that's without even trying. That's just going with the flow of the game and just, just practicing and practicing. You're not going to win all the games, but you know, just keep developing and working. So this pawn's going to go, obviously. Got two on there. He's got three. Rock, palm, palm, palm. There is something in this. Bishop takes. King takes. Bishop attacks the palm. Bishop attacks the rook. Bishop attacks the rook. Yep, yeah, still keeping that pressure. Rook attacks, bishop takes the rook. That's not happening. But he's off the back now, so put a check on the king. Still have a check. Mm -hmm. Bishop has a check, he drops the pawn. Didn't really want to block the. So I might have to rethink that. Bishop here drops the pawn. Bishop's blocking the rook from defending here. Bishop comes here defending the knight. Bishop takes the knight, bishop takes, rook takes the pawn. King comes here. Okay, let's work with that. Nice and simple. Don't mind losing a pawn. Drops the pawn like we said. Bring the bishop here. If he takes, takes. It's like a nice slow grind. Yes, he takes, takes, rook takes, king here. So we covered that calculation type of process. All seems fairly natural. It's coming down now, attacking the king with the loose little pawn. Pawn pushes up, blocks that. Anything else? Rook attacks his rook. Yeah, let's just push there. Let's go here. Don't think he's going to exchange really, but he's got a bit of a threat on his pawn here. He may feel well if I take the rook, then I might have a chance of equalising because he's just got a bishop. 
Nope. Let's take. Just gotta check on the king. Let's move the king. Then they're all done here. It's not done there. Let's go here, attacking the rook again. Moves across. coming down the backside. Okay, he's done a dark square. King's protecting that pawn at the moment. Could attack one of these pawns here, one in front of the king. So one of them has to go. back here looking to get around the back then going backwards and forwards looking for a draw yeah so how do we do it I'm going to move the king but he's looking for that drawn type position going backwards and forwards with the rook So he puts the check. Where do I go? If I go here, he comes back again. Actually, no, if I go here, puts the check on. I could drop. I want the bishop in front of the king, though. I could drop here. He's not doing that. Um, that was a missed opportunity. Good. <laughs> So what we don't want is him coming here. So we'll block that off. Because it can be a bit annoying. King is looking to come into some sort of action now. Oh shit. Oh god. I forgot all about that. The idea was protecting the pawn. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, let's move here. <laughs> That'll teach me. <laughs> I was so focused on stopping him from coming to this annoying position that I was defending this pawn here. So he captures. Bishop comes and attacks the pawn. This rook comes up to defend. Our rook comes with a two on one. So it's not a major problem because the bishop is also attacking this pawn here in front of. Uh, he's not wearing them apples. He's not wearing them apples. So we could still go with the bishop move, attacking the pawn here while he's coming to put his single check on the king. Might have been a saving grace actually. Seems to be an alright position for us. And he's going for it anyway, so put the check on the king. Oh, because his rook can come here, can't it? And put a check on my king. That's why he's done that. He has to go. Oh, I thought he'd have gone on a dark square because he's now lost his rook. No, he hasn't. My rook can't get to him. Uh, can I go there? Can I go there? Where's the magic move? He has to move, then the bishop takes. Yeah, something like that. I think I've got options. Goes into the corner, but he should really go here, shouldn't he? Yeah. And we could play about putting another check on. Yeah, it's the 
go there. And he's playing silly buggers. Okay, fair enough. Let's go here again. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's take this pawn before we get caught in some mystical trap. I'm expecting a resignation really, I'm, I'm just He really is hoping that I make a mistake, isn't he? Why? Because of that. And then we get rid of the rook and then we get the resignation. Capitulation. He's not done it. Uh, so he's got some skills. He's got some skills. Take more pieces off the board to help hopefully get a resignation. Peace. I mean, if he goes there, he knows it's all over because the bishop's just going there. Okay, it's going on to a dark square. If he goes there, the bishop's going to take him. So, again, and we have three passes. He's looking to squeeze us with his king. Now the king's gonna have to come all the way back again just to try and get this pawn. He needs to come down, but he hasn't though, so it makes the pawn get more strength because the bishop's protecting as well as the rook. Puts a check on. Takes at last, okay, with a check. Should have probably taken with the rook actually, because then it keeps the king on the back. And the opponent has left the game. You claim victory in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Nice little game.